Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N the media I am Dr Nick Nickam today I want to talk to you about how you can reduce your prescription drug costs most patients who are on medicare and medicare supplemental programs uh, face the challenge of extremely outrageous drug prices which I'm going to show you in a minute and I am also going to show you how you can reduce your Medicare drug costs. So let us begin with the medicare.gov website. Let us begin with the medicare.gov here and continue without logging in. We want to look at the drug plan part D alone. I'm going to put my zip code as 77479, which is Sugarland, Texas. I'm going to let's continue here, Fort Wayne County. That's fine. In here, you put continue without logging in. Do you want to add drugs? Yes, I want, I'm going to add a drug here. For example, Coreg. Coreg is a medicine used for patients with hypertension and patients with heart failure. And you will be amazed to see what the cost of this drug is going to be when I bring up the prices. So let us uh, check the prices for Coreg. We want to add this Coreg. Now, when you bring up this, it shows add generic or add brand name instead. So let us add the brand name to start with. So we want 40 milligrams extended release 24 hours. It's given once or twice a day for heart failure patients. That's 20 milligram extended release, 40 milligrams. We leave it and it is given like twice a day. Just put it and then come back here. Okay, I'm gonna add the same drug now with uh, add the same drug with a brand name instead 40 million extended release 60 tablets and add this drug too so this is the extended release uh, i don't know which one is the generic one but uh, we will find out then i'm going to also add another drug in the coreg uh, category which is uh, given twice a day we add this drug we're going to add a generic one but instead of uh, taking that extended release you can take this 25 milligrams twice a day which will probably do the same work because i'm a cardiologist and i have prescribed this okay we're going to add this one 60 tablets if it doesn't work then we can always see what needs to be done so let's add this so we have three different kinds of uh, coreg here one is 25 milligrams generic twice daily the other one is, uh, these two are identical. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to add a generic one, uh, the Coreg extended release. Coreg, add, I need to add a generic version. And uh, I want to go to 40 milligrams, uh, 24 hours. So mash those things and see what happens here. So we have two generic drugs and one with a brand name. All uh, right, let's proceed further. We don't want to zip code and uh, I'll just check mail order pharmacy, CBS, and I'm gonna check Kroger. If you don't see Kroger, you can just type the name Kroger here and it will bring up uh, find the pharmacy. And there's Kroger in Sugarland area. So I have picked CBS, Kroger, and mail order pharmacy. Let's click done. And uh, let's pick, the, this is the least expensive one, which is $11,000.425. That's, uh, that's crazy, but let's just pick this plan and look at the details. What, when I look at the latest, this is what it costs. Total monthly premium $63 for the prescription plan. Then you have $10,000 worth of drug costs. A mail order is, which is more expensive than the local pharmacies. So let's go down here and I'm going to show you. So here are CBC, which is a standard in network. So it's not a preferred one. Kroger is a preferred one. And we're going to compare Kroger and mail order and look at the drug costs. All right. So let's go down here. It tells you how much a generic correct 25 milligrams twice a day is uh, your yeah, crow pay is $48. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention. The extended release Coreg is $1,985 for the generic one and the brand name extended release is $9,122.28.
you get the picture. Okay, if you go into the Kroger Pharmacy here, breakdown, let's look at the breakdown here. Kroger Pharmacy, if you take the generic one twice a day, 25 milligrams, which is sort of equivalent, but uh, we have to see with individual patients. Anyway, it is $4 versus a brand name drug, which costs $760 per month. That's almost equal to your social security check for many of you. So what do you do when you have this situation? The first thing you do is you go to your doctor and say, I cannot afford these drugs. You know, you need to give me a generic equivalent. That's point number one. Point number two is if you are on a low income budget, you are eligible for subsidies for not only a premium for the drug plan, but also for the drugs. So look into that, talk to your agent, talk to us and we will help you out how you can sort out this difference. Number three, when some of these drugs are so expensive, you have another alternative and that is called the good Rx. And there are many other discount pharmacies like this. You just have to Google and find out. I have found this to be extremely useful. For example, this Coreg CR, which is a brand name, which was costing like $900 per month, even with the good Rx, uh, the cost is $996. Some of these drugs are very cheap. Some of these drugs are not so cheap. So I'm just giving you a comparison. So if you look at this, actually, if you put to 40 milligram, okay, so this person was on a different schedule. So let's put 40 milligrams here and see what the price is going to be. Okay, $685, which is quite less compared to what the pharmacies were giving you. But if you take out the brand name and put just generic one, it's $148, $129. 75% discount on a good Rx without any prescription plan. All you do is get a coupon which will come to your email as a barcode and you just show it to the pharmacy at the CBS or Kroger or HEB and Kroger has the lowest price among many of these places which I have discovered. So you can get your costs substantially reduced, especially if you are in the donut hole area that between $4,430 to $7,000 $7,050, that's when you look to look at the discount pharmacies to cut down your costs. So here, are, so some of these things should really help you to cut down your costs. The first thing is uh, ask your doctors to replace with generic medicines. For example, Bistolic is like $600 a year, whereas uh, low pressure or metoprolol or anything equivalent to that, or even generic Coreg, is like four dollars per month would you rather pay six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars per year or maybe forty dollars per year that's the difference you have to educate your doctors i'm saying that because i'm a doctor myself you have to educate your doctors and say my social security check cannot afford to buy these kind of brand name drugs if there's a generic equivalent available i want to get a generic one number two shop around Look at your six drugs and see which pharmacy has the best price. And if you were to add good RX coupon, how much more discount you would get. Remember when the pharmacies calculate the donut hole, they are not looking at what you pay to the pharmacy when you pick up your medicine. They are looking at the cost to the pharmacy, the retail cost. So with this kind of cost, you're going to be in donut hole within three to four months. And then they can charge you 25% of the list price of the medicine, which is like $1,200 a month. So please make sure you become an intelligent consumer. Talk to your doctors first. Check under Medicare.gov or ask us. We will look for the drugs which are much more economical. Number three. If you are in a donut hole, look for that uh, discount coupons from GoodRx or there are many other pharmacies which can do. Even Kroger for $25 has a program. I check GoodRx and Kroger. Whichever has the lowest price, I go with that one. So hope, I hope this has been helpful to you. We have many videos on Medicare Part A, B, C, D 
uh, and at supplemental plans A to N, uh, prescription plans, and please watch them and share them with your friends. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you in the next video.